Hi guys, Roshan went for a bike ride yesterday and he was determined to make it to the destination by evening. However, he decided to take a quick snack break on his way. Except maybe it wasn't as quick as he was expecting it to be, even though he did make it on time. So to analyze his journey, Roshan plotted a distance time graph. Let's take a look at it. A distance time graph shows distance on the y-axis and time on the x-axis. It shows how speed is related to distance and time. As an object moves, the distance it travels increases with time. This can be seen as a climbing or rising graph. A horizontal line indicates zero speed. Steeper lines indicate greater speed. And motion in which neither speed nor direction is constant is called non-uniform motion. Now that we know this, let's calculate the time for which Rohan was stationary during the bike ride. We can see that the graph was flat for the duration of one big square. From the axis, we can tell that two big squares sum up to 15 minutes. So one big square is equal to seven and a half minutes. This means Roshan was stationary for seven and a half minutes. That's not too bad. Seven and a half minutes for a snack break is pretty quick in fact. Now, to determine the speed of an object, we can use the slope of the line in a distance time graph. And the slope of a line is calculated by dividing the change in distance by the change in time for that time interval. Accordingly, let us calculate Roshan's average speed for the half an hour during which he rode non-stop, that is between 1715 and 1745. Now 30 minutes is equivalent to 0.5 hours and this is the change in time. During this period, Roshan increased his distance covered from 5 kilometers to 25 kilometers. This means he traveled 25 kilometers in total and this is the change in distance. Hence, we can find the slope, that is the speed, as follows. Speed is equal to 20 over 0.5, which is equal to 40 kilometers per hour. Whoa, that was a lot of math for just one graph. But now we understand how to calculate estimated time of arrival using a distance time graph. How cool is that?